Hey guys, it's Rissa, and um, this video is going to be a winter inspired tutorial, um, an eyes tutorial and a hair tutorial, all combined in one, so this is going to be a really fun video. Um, also, I would like to say that this video is also going to be on my collab channel. It's going to be on both of my channels, my collab channel and my personal channel. Um, so, I usually start off by saying on my collab channel, hey guys, it's Sunday doll, because I'm Sunday on my collab. So, yeah. So basically, this is a challenge video for our collab. It's um, a winter-inspired look. It can be a hair tutorial, makeup tutorial, nail tutorial, anything like that. So I'm doing two different tutorials. Hair tutorial and eye tutorial. Tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. Woo! So, um, I'm not inspiring it by winter. I'm just making it wearable for the winter colors that are very good for the winter and a hair tutorial that's like super easy, super quick, super stylish for the winter. And when I see that hairstyle, I always think of the winter because I usually wear it during the winter. Alright, so for the tutorial, the eye tutorial, I'm probably going to do a voiceover. Alright, so let's just get right into the makeup tutorial. Okay, so first you're going to start off by applying your pro eyelid primer and I'm just using the e.l.f. one and... Just rub that in with your finger. And then I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, and it's depotted. So I'm just going to apply that to my inner half, or inner quarter actually, not the whole inner half. Well, I guess you could say, yeah. Um, but um, just focusing that on the inner half. Then I'm going to take a white eyeshadow, just any white eyeshadow, that's by um, um, Wet n Wild, and it's a really good eyeshadow, it's very pigmented. And then I'm going to take a crease brush, and then I'm going to take a dark gray and apply that in my crease. go out of frame a lot in this video so don't mind me then I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend all of it out then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and take a matte black and apply that to my outer corner in a V formation I'm going to blend that out as well. Then I'm going to take a silver eyeshadow, and it's by Rimmel, and it's in the color Silver Moonlight, and just pack that onto where I put the white earlier, just to add a little bit more gradient effect and more shimmer. Then I'm going to apply my liquid liner. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. And then apply my Falsies mascara. Well, that's Falsies flared. And then just apply your favorite eyeliner, pencil eyeliner. I'm using the Alme Intense Eye Color for Hazel Eyes. And then I'm going to take my Tarte mascara and just apply a coat of that. And then you're finished. So that's the end of the makeup tutorial. I just want to explain a couple of things. You can totally tone this look down a little bit if you just took away the black. I like the black personally. Um, if you want a little bit more of an edge, you can take some makeup remover and make a straight line like on the sides. I did that yesterday and I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, but for right now, I just like it how it is. Um, just like a really smoky look. With a lot more grays than just like white and you know black, you know, because it adds a little bit more dimension to the eye. I got so many compliments on this look. I've been wearing this, um, I've worn this about three or four times, and I just really love it. Um, it's just one of those really good looks that you can wear any time of the day. Um, 
with just a switch of something like if you just put eyeliner on the outer half and then put a lot of white just to lighten up the the eye look or um just took away the black and just did a gray i personally really like the black i think it looks amazing um you can take away the heavy eyeliner and you can just go just with mascara but i personally you know this is what my personal preference is right now um for this eye look and i get so many compliments with it so i don't mind the harshness of it or anything like that and i personally just think it's just a really gorgeous look and adding the silver the um the uh rimmel eyeshadow it, the silver moonlight it just adds like this perfect like sparkle perfect for the winter it's just amazing. I just really like this look, personally. Okay, so now on to the hair tutorial. Oh, first, you guys like my background? I just made it today. I made it. I know, right? Okay. So now for this hair tutorial, what you're going to need is you're going to need some hair protectant first, obviously. Trust me. Woo. Then you're going to need a curling iron, per preferably... A um, curling wand. Oh, Jack, my curling wand. So you're going to need a curling wand or a very tiny um, barrel that you can wrap your hair around. Um, curling curling wand works best. Um, my personal preference. I'm, I mean, you can take the clamp off of one of your curling irons. It just depends on your preference. Um, this was $20 at Target, so you can easily go out and buy this. It's super cheap, and it's super worth the money. Now, you can also use a glove with it. I have mastered the technique of twirling your hair around without burning yourself. So, I personally don't need a glove anymore. I did when I first started, but now I don't, so I'm a boss. Um, and then you're just going to need a clip and... Um, a brush just to do this hairstyle and maybe some hairspray if your hair doesn't hold curls but mine holds curls so I don't really need one this look will work best on second day hair um, I haven't washed my hair in like a couple days so it is a little bit of greasy but not too bad it actually um, when you curl your hair it works better if your hair is greasy because the curl will hold better so what you want to do is just brush your hair out first And you're going to want to spray your heat protectant all over your hair. Mainly focusing it on the ends of your hair. So now once you've done that, you're going to want to um, part your hair, you know, part your hair, you know, the regular way. Where you just go like that. I suck at parting my hair for some reason, so. I don't know why, but I just do. So then you're just going to want to gather your hair at the top of your head and either use a clip or an elastic. I'm just going to use an elastic because I can't find my clip. And just kind of put it in a sexy bun at, top, at the top. So you're just going to look like that for a little while. And then you're just going to want to pull your hair to the side. And then plug your curling iron in. Curling iron is heating up. I'd like to, I'm just going to tell you guys that I'm not going to show you how to do your whole head because it's pretty self-explanatory once you get it the first time. Um, I'm going to explain how you curl, how you hold the curling iron on each side of your head, whichever, whichever hand you use for your head, um, because I hate when people don't explain that, because I'm like, how do you hold it? Okay. So now once your, um, curling iron is heated up, what you're going to do is you're going to split your sections into two, one on each side, so you can work easily. And uh, what I recommend is taking a, a piece of hair from the back, um, preferably, however, thick you want it. I'm just going to take probably that much. Um, I personally like tighter curls. Um, if you want bigger curls, like um, less tight, you're going to want to take probably like that much. But, so I'm just going to take this much. Now what you're going to do is whichever side you're working on, so I'm working on my, well to you it's probably going to be, okay, I'm working on my left side, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my curling iron in the opposite hand. So I'm going to take my curling iron in my right hand and I'm going to put it behind the curl and I'm just going to wrap. Well that was a fail. Oh, okay. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind the behind the hair. You're going to want to curl away from your face, so you're going to want to put it behind. And then just wrap it all the way to the end and hold it for about, I don't know, however long you feel. And see, it didn't take that long to get that kind of curl. See how cute it is? Aww. And then you're just going to do it around your head. Now, I highly recommend you use a glove if you haven't used a curling wand before because you will burn your hand. Um, I've burnt myself multiple times using this, so. Just for f a reference. I'm just going to let go. Okay. Now you're going to take another piece of hair, obviously. Um... One thing, this works more better on medium to long hair. You have short hair, it's your hair's not gonna wrap around as many times, and it's gonna look like a re it's gonna look I don't know, it's gonna look kinda weird. But see, there we have another curl. And we're gonna take I'm gonna just gonna finish this side up for you guys and then I'm gonna speed everything up. Okay guys, so this is what your hair should look like um, when you're done curling it. Sorry, the lighting really sucks. Um, yeah, but slight problem, my camera shut off in the middle of me filming. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and I didn't realize it. Um, it died and I had to charge it so I actually kind of had to wait a while to film this. So I just got finished film like curling these little pieces right here and I wanted to show you guys how I curled my bangs just so you guys could get a little gist of how I do it because sometimes like girls on YouTube don't explain all the way through and I'm like one of those girls who like really need to um <sighs> explain so um yeah let's just get right into it so here here are my bangs I have them clipped so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them down, and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure they're brushed out. Where's my brush? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, well, we're going to finger comb them. So what you're going to do is you're just going to section them off just a very slight piece of hair and then clip the rest back. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take this whole chunk, actually. Actually, we're going to split it up. So we're just going to split it up. And you're just going to curl it like you have been, wrapping it around the barrel. And you don't want to hold these as long because you don't want them to be like super curly because I mean they're your bangs. So, you kind of want these to be a little bit um, wavy and if you hold them for too long it's totally cool. Just um, finger comb them out so they're not too curly. should look a little bit like what your finished hair should look like, sorry, all up in your grill. Um, so they, your hair just kind of looks windblown back a little bit and a bunch of little curl, curly curls. I really, really, really love this hairstyle and it's just really cute. Um, it's perfect for like parties and things like that and especially with this makeup, I just really, really, really love it. 
else. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was super easy. Oops, sorry. It was super easy and it's just really cute for the winter time and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this whole tutorial. Sorry that a lot of clips got lost because stupid camera died. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys want more hair tutorials because I really want to start doing hair tutorials. So yeah, um, leave a comment down below and also once again this is going to be on two channels, my personal beauty channel and also the collab channel because this is technically for the collab but I just thought you know what, I'm going to put this up on my beauty channel because it's beauty and I really want to let you guys see what my hair looks like and my makeup. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later, bye.